Okay. Uh, last time we did with the sorry, last time uh, we used the lac two. Okay. Last time we got result of lac two. But uh, this time, yeah, lac two. Now, now, uh, uh, now we shall check uh, what happens with lac four, right? This time is lac four. Then what happens to the outcome? That uh, that we have to check now. I go to uh, quick group statistics, Granger causality test. So, I put all the variables, export, then GDP, import, money, right. So, we have the four variables, right, export, GDP, import, money. So, I press OK. Okay, so last time uh, we took lag two, but this time I put lag four. Then uh, we check what will happen. Okay, so I press OK. The result has come up. You can see the result from here, right? So the pairwise causally task, right? Lag four that we have used here. You can see from here, this is the null hypothesis, right? Null hypothesis and uh, GDP does not Granger cause export, F statistics and corresponding P value, right? And the P value is 49.944 which is more than 5 percent. So, we cannot reject null hypothesis, rather we accept null hypothesis, meaning that GDP does not cause export. Then what about this one? Export does not cause GDP. The p value is very big 64.16 percent. So, we cannot reject null hypothesis, meaning that export does not cause GDP. Then import, uh, then the second one import does not cause export. The p value is very small 0 0.93 percent, which is less than 5 percent, meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis. That means, import cause export, import cause export, that is one way causation, one way Granger causality from import to export. What about the second one? Export does not cause import. Can I reject null? Yes, the p value is 1.04 percent, which is less than 5 percent. So, we can reject null hypothesis, meaning that export cause import. So, what is happening here? Import cause export and export cause import, meaning that uh, there is a there is a bidirectional causality, meaning that there exists a bidirectional causality. That is import cause export and export cause import. So there is a bidirectional causality between these two variable. And whatever here, and whatever here, money does not Granger cause export and uh, 
export does not grandeur cause money, right. That is another issue, another null hypothesis. So, money does not grandeur cause export, we cannot reject this statement. At the same time, export does not cause money, we cannot reject it also because the p value is just more than 5 percent, p value is 5.01 percent, which is uh, slightly higher than 5 percent. So, we cannot reject null hypothesis. Normally, if the p value is less than 5 percent, normally we reject null hypothesis, but here I cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, I accept null hypothesis, meaning that uh, export does not cause money supply. Then talk about import does not cause GDP. Yes, so this statement is all right because our p value is more than 5 percent, so we cannot reject null hypothesis. And the second one, GDP does not grandeur cause import. Yes, this, this uh, null hypothesis we cannot reject because the p value is so high, then money does not grandeur cost GDP. This one we cannot reject because the p value is so high and GDP does not cause money. That is also true because p value is high then money does not cause import, that is also true because we cannot reject it and import does not cause money, that is also true, we cannot reject because the p value is 12.65 percent. So, what is the outcome? The outcome of this uh, having 4 lakh having 4 lakh is import cause export and export cause import. There is a bi-directional causality in uh, between import and export. So, the, the outcome is same. So, last time uh, we chose lakh 2 and now uh, we have chosen lakh 4 but the outcome is the same. That means, the lag, lag has not been able to change the result. The result has, has remained unchanged. Okay, but now, uh, uh, now we shall take lag 6, then uh, we shall take lag 6 to check whether the result will change or not, that we want to check now.